Hey, what is going on guys? Expert Fusion here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about who I think got killed by Negan in the Walking Dead Season 6 finale. So I know a bunch of people have made videos on this already, and it's kind of late now. I mean, it's already like middle of April, and this happened like the early April of this episode. But the reason why I want to do it now is because people were just bombarding each other with these videos and these theories. And let me just tell you right now. They pissed me off. A lot of the theories pissed me off because a lot of them just were awful. And not trying to be mean or anything, but a lot of them were bad. Even from pretty famous YouTubers making theories, they were just so bad. I just, I don't even know. Like, people just are high or something. I, don't, I really don't know. Um, but seriously, I wanted to make a video going over who I think died and kind of go through all the characters and the probability of them dying or not. Because the thing that people are doing, they're basing their predictions off the angles of the cameraman um, during the POV shot and all that kind of stuff. And that's just stupid because if they were smart enough to realize the camera or the directors they weren't making that scene to make it so it's realistic to who actually got bat you know hit by Negan because what actually happened was all the actors left during that scene so they didn't try to recreate it and go in the same exact spot as who that where the actor was and all that stuff they just they did not do that I know they did it because they wouldn't do that they don't want us to get any clues they want us to get any hints so that's the main reason why they did it and people were trying to get the little um, they were trying to slow down the scene of everyone screaming and they heard Glenn or something. But that's pretty, pretty stupid too because, I mean, the actors even said themselves that um, they don't know who dies. And yes, they could be lying, but I really don't think they are. And even if they are, they wouldn't be stupid and yell out Glenn because they know we would be able to find that out. And what, the, what, the, uh, what they're basically wanting us to do is not figure out who it is until the episode airs, which is dumb because we're going to get spoiled by it soon anyways. So what's even the point? But... Still, they don't want to spoil it to us, so obviously there's really no hints or clues in that scene in particular. But you can look back on things, and you can see foreshadowing events, you can see different things, and you can you can tell who you think is going to die by other things, not by that scene. Because I just I just don't believe what people are talking about, their theories, and their theories get really bad, I'm not going to lie. So let's just go over something. Let's go over each and every one character and talk about if they're going to die or not. Starting off with Rick. No, just, I'm not even going to talk about Rick. I mean, like, I know he's not going to die. I could bet $100 million on it. Um, the only way Rick will ever be killed off is if the actor wants to leave the show, you know, forcefully. Then that's the only reason they'll ever do that. But they're never going to kill him off. Not just because he's the main character, but because we started this world with Rick. We're going to end it with Rick. You can't kill him off and just continue the story with another character. That's not The Walking Dead anymore because... If we started the story with him, we have to end it with him. That's just how it has to go. So once Rick dies, the whole series is over. That's pretty much how it should go. Um, not saying the whole, you know, everything's over. They can still do spinoff series and stuff like that. Um, they really want to kill Rick off and then have Carl alive and then do a spinoff with Carl or something, like a spinoff series. Perfectly fine with that. But once Rick dies, the Walking Dead ser series itself should end right there. No exceptions. It should just end. But this is way too early for him to die. There's still a lot more to go. So, Rick, not dead. Um, Carl, no, not dead. I, I don't. People making theories about Carl dying is just stupid, too, because Carl has so much more storyline. I mean, I know what they, they do sometimes. You know, they switch out characters, they kill off characters, and then switch out their storylines in the comics to another character. But Carl has such important moments in the comic comics to come. And, <clears throat> like,. Why Why would that happen? And I mean, Negan even said, he said, cut the other boy's eye out and feed it to his father if anybody moves. Why would he say that if he was the one, um, who, if Carl was the one he was going to bash his head? Why would he say that? And why would he say that about Rick? So Rick and Carl are safe, 100%, no doubt about it. And the whole eye, Carl getting his eye shot out scene would have been pointless if they were to just kill him off a few episodes later. So no, Carl's alive, I know that. Michonne, Michonne, she's alive. She has so much more story to go. I just know they're not killing her off whatsoever. Um, she has a lot more storyline. She's, you know, a great character, and just no, they're not going to kill her off. That's for sure. And there's just, there's been not much build up for her character this season, anyways. And they wouldn't just kill her off like that. Like she hasn't really had much this season, to be honest. So she's safe. Next, we're gonna do we're gonna do Glenn. We're gonna do Glenn. Now nah, we'll do Glenn last because he's the one I actually think is gonna die. Spoiler alert. Um, let's go with, let's go with, uh, Daryl. Let's go with my boy Daryl. Daryl, he does have a good chance of dying. I'm, I've been on and off about him. I've been on and off about him dying or not. 
Um, let's look at the cold hard facts here because I'm looking at some deep like interviews and stuff like that with these actors to really be able to find out who's going to die or not. And Daryl has said he's been some trolly. He's done some trolly things. I don't know if they're 100% you know, him just trolling with us or if he's actually being serious. But the actor who plays Daryl Norman Reedus has done a lot of different things that hint at him dying. And maybe he was doing it to try to trick us. We don't know. First of all, in an interview, he goes, Hi, I'm Norman Reedus, and I played Daryl in The Walking Dead. He played Daryl. So that makes us think he did used to play him. Does mean does he still play him, or does he not play him anymore? Like, that's what we're curious about. Um, maybe he just worded it wrong, or maybe he was just trolling us, which is what I think. Because he also, um, on one of Greg Nicotero's pictures on Instagram, he, he commented, um, I miss you guys already. That's just trolling. That's just trolling up the ass. Um, and then also, there was a confirmation that Daryl will be in Season 7. But of course, that could just be the first scene. That's also them throwing us off a little bit. Um, us thinking he's not going to die in the, the finale, so he must not be the one who get Negan'd. But then we didn't know that there'd be a cliffhanger, and then it would go on to Season 7. So, you know, it's just it's a whole thing. I, just, I don't really think it's going to be Daryl anymore. I did before. Um, but honestly, it's a 50-50 chance. It's a 50-50 chance between two characters, in my opinion, um, basically. So between Glenn and Daryl, it's basically 50-50 at this point. Um, but let me go with the other characters. We have Abraham. Abraham is one that there's a possibility. There's a small possibility. I'm thinking maybe 10% chance he'll be the one. But in reality, I just I don't see them doing that, mainly because Robert Kirkman even set out himself he does not want Abraham to die so soon like he did in the comics. He wanted him to last a lot longer than his comic book counterpart. And he only survived two episodes longer than his comic book ca counterpart. So, therefore, I think Abraham is safe. Um, and he's just, he just he doesn't really have much more storyline, but he's a badass character. I mean, I think a lot of people want to see more of him, of course. Um, so, I think he'll live. I think he'll live uh, another day. Or not another day, another few seasons for all I know. Um, we got Sasha here. Sasha has a lot more storyline. I mean, I like how they're given so many different characters, comic book, Andrea's, you know, type of, uh, characteristics, like they gave Michonne's, um, re relationship with Rick, and they also gave Sasha Andrea's sniper skills, and that doesn't seem like that big of a storyline, but there's actually a lot of stuff in No Way Out, not No Way Out, All Out War, that... Sasha will be very important in because of her being the sniper because of her being able to see people from above and shoot them from above and she has a really good accuracy so that's going to come in handy for Rick's group and I just I don't think they would kill her off because she's too useful for later episodes so you know killing her off would be kind of pointless and she just hasn't developed all her story yet she really hasn't she still has more story with Abraham and I, I, I could see more stuff with Abraham Rosita um, and Sasha happening I could see a lot more stuff happening with them um, Rosita, don't think she's going to die either because I think she has more storyline with those three. I think their little love triangle there can last a little bit longer and, you know, go on the next season because we haven't seen much of it. We've only seen a few episodes of it, maybe. So, yeah, I do think that Rosita lived as well. Uh, and that leaves us with um, Aaron, I believe is the last one. Oh, we got Eugene and Maggie. forgot about them. But um, Aaron, he's just not, you know, he doesn't, he hasn't been alive as long as these other characters, so I just, I can't say he's the character because, uh, who's going to get Negan because he just hasn't had enough development, nor is he going to make any effect on the fans because we're not really going to care that much. I mean, yes, Aaron's a great character. I love his character, but I'm not going to, you know, be devastated like I would be if Glenn was the one to get batted in or Daryl or something. I just would be like, oh, that's crazy, but, you know, whatever. It's Aaron. We saw him for, like, maybe a season now. I mean, what's... What's the big deal? Who really cares? So, no, they're not going to do it to Aaron. Uh, Eugene. Eugene, I actually think, has a little bit of a chance. Um, just because they, they did that ending scene, just making it seem like he's going to die. But that could be them trolling us, too. I mean, AMC is just trolling us like crazy. I don't know why they just like to troll us. It's, it's kind of annoying. I don't like when they troll us. Um, I mean, they just trolled us with the Glenn fake-out death. So, you know, why wouldn't they troll us again? Um, but Eugene, small chance. And probably less than Abraham. But um, he definitely has a chance. But no, I don't think it's gonna happen. Maggie, nope. She has a lot more storyline with Hilltop and the baby and every. Nope, nope. Don't even. I hate people saying Maggie's gonna die. That's just nope. 
I just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. I mean, she just got that haircut. I mean, come on. They wouldn't get give her a nice little haircut and then she'd be like, oh, you're dead next episode. And that would just make the most sense to me. So, no. It's either going to be Glenn or Daryl, which are the two top candidates. And then you got Eugene and Abraham are smaller candidates. Very small candidates. Let's go back to Glenn and Daryl. So I talked about Daryl a little bit, but let's talk about Glenn and why I think it's going to be him 100%. He was the one in the comics. Yes, he was the one in the comics, and a lot of people, you know, say, oh, it's going to be different, you know, it's always different. Here's the thing. They've always done different scenes in the comics. They've always taken scenes and changed them. That's what they've done the majority of the time. Like, when um, Lizzie and Mika death scene, that was different in the comics. Like, the Herschel scene, that was different in the comics. It was the same scene, just different character. So that's what everyone thinks going to happen here. Same scene, different character. Here's the thing. They're trolling us. They want us to think it's going to be same scene, different character, but you know what? It's not. It's going to be same scene, same character, and we're going to be like, holy shit, that went down exactly how it did in the comics. That's fucking crazy. Now, I know it's predictable, and I know that that might not be what, you know, Robert Kirkman and them want us to think. They probably want us to not know who it is, of course, so why would they do the same thing as the comics? That's too predictable. Because they think... It's, it's reverse psychology here. It's, it's reverse psychology. I'm telling you, it's reverse psychology. They want us to think it's going to be a different character in the comics, so we think it's a different character, but it's really the character from the comics. Another thing, foreshadowing has been on point lately with Glenn. I mean, uh, looking at the Bastion heads, all the baseball bat Easter eggs. You could say they're just Easter eggs, but I think they're foreshadowing. I really do think they are. Um, and then last but not least... I think Glenn would be shocking, and I think his storyline's done. I don't think he has much left in him. And, I mean, the amount of times Glenn has escaped death is absolutely crazy. There's at least ten different times. So everyone's probably thinking, oh, Glenn will escape this, whatever. And then they see his head bashing on the floor, and they're like, uh, never mind. I think that's just really how the fans should act and how they should, you know, react to the scene. I don't want them to, you know, predict it, pretty much. But it's just, I, I just, I think it should be Glenn. He's the only character that makes sense. I mean, Daryl makes a little bit of sense, but I still see him having more storyline with Dwight in them. So Glenn's just the one I'm picking, man. 